At first glance, you might mistake this for an RC plane. However, upon closer inspection, it becomes evident that it is a small airplane. While planes are typically associated with large sizes, the ones featured in this video are incredibly small. In fact, they are so tiny that they weigh less than the people piloting them. Therefore, it would be wise for you to subscribe and join us as we delve into the world of these small planes and explore their remarkable engineering features. From jet-powered planes shorter than most adults to those small enough to park in your average garage, and even planes as tiny as bees, here are the 10 smallest airplanes ever made. The Subsonics JSX-2T While not the smallest jet-powered plane on our list, it is the sole jet-powered option currently available in today's market for under $140,000. So if the notion of owning a personal jet has ever crossed your mind, now's your chance. Spanning merely 16 feet in length, with a wingspan of 18 feet and a height of just 5 feet, it falls shorter than the average adult. Engineered to leverage the latest in small turbine engine technology, this plane opens the doors for pilots with more modest budgets to embrace the jet jock title. Produced by Sonex Aircraft's Hornet's Nest development sector, this single-seat, amateur-built jet aircraft features a solo-engine jet-style Y-tail, fixed main landing gear, and a retractable nose wheel. It derives its power from a Czech-manufactured PBS TJ100 turbojet engine situated atop the aft fuselage, with the exhaust venting between the Y-tail, facilitating a cruising speed of 240 miles per hour. This compact plane has an empty weight of 500 pounds, meaning it can carry one individual and 40 gallons of fuel, giving it a range of 480 miles with a reserve for an additional 30 minutes. Sonex Aircraft Onyx Similar to its counterpart, the Subsonex JSX-2T the Onyx is another compact aircraft from Sonex Aircraft, but this time with a smaller frame and utilizing a propeller. Measuring 16 feet in length and boasting a wingspan of 20 feet, the Onyx was crafted to be cost-effective, possess aerobatic capabilities, and feature folding wings for convenient storage in a standard residential garage, measuring 7 feet in height and 8 feet in width. This aircraft fulfills the standard light aircraft FAR-23 static load requirements, with its wings bearing over 10,000 pounds in sandbags during testing phases. Aimed at the US experimental home-built and light sport aircraft markets, Sonex Aircraft offers the complete airframe kit for this airplane at $21,675 or can provide a fully assembled version for $38,000, making it the most budget-friendly option among their kits. Propelled by an Aero V Turbo 100 horsepower engine, it achieves a cruise speed of 155 miles per hour and with an empty weight of 600 pounds and designed to accommodate a single occupant, it can carry 15 gallons of fuel, granting it a range of 535 miles. Bede BD-5J Microjet if you recall the James Bond film Octopussy, you'll instantly recognize the tiny aircraft 007 skillfully maneuvered through the hangar doors to outsmart his pursuers. The villains aimed to trap him inside, but the plane's compact size allowed it to slip through the closing doors with ease. With dimensions of 13 feet in length, 21 feet in wingspan, and 4 feet in height, the jet-powered variant of this airplane holds the title of the smallest jet-powered aircraft ever manufactured. The Bede BD-5 Micro Series emerged in the late 1960s as a brainchild of US aircraft designer Jim Bede, primarily offered in kit form by the now-defunct Bede Aircraft Corporation in the early 1970s. Sporting a compact aerodynamic fuselage housing a semi-reclined pilot beneath a spacious canopy, the BD-5 features its engine nestled in a mid-fuselage compartment with a propeller-driven power plant, or in the case of the BD-5J variant, the jet engine positioned directly behind the cockpit. 
Weighing a mere 358.8 pounds, this aircraft accommodates a single occupant, reaching a maximum speed of 232 miles per hour and boasting a range of 935 miles under optimal conditions with a 30-minute reserve. Constructing and flying the BD-5 proved to be difficult task. Despite several kits being sold, many exceeded the capabilities of most home builders, and even when completed, these diminutive aircraft demanded highly skilled pilots for safe operation. Although only a few hundred BD-5 kits were finished in total, many of these aircraft remain airworthy today. Icarus 451M while it doesn't claim the title of the smallest military aircraft on this list, the Icarus 452 is the smallest military jet aircraft ever to be equipped with 412.7mm M3 Browning machine guns featuring two nose gun ports per side. With dimensions measuring a length of 19 feet, a wingspan of 17 feet and a height of 5 feet, this experimental jet aircraft emerged from Yugoslavia in 1953. Sporting a stubby mid-wing cantilever monoplane design with a pod and boom configuration, it housed twin jets stacked one atop the other at the rear of the fuselage nacelle, each with separate intakes. Twin tails and a horizontal stabilizer adorned the ends of booms extending rearward from the wings, with a short fin extending from the top of the rear fuselage to meet the stabilizer. The aircraft's flying surfaces boasted sharp sweeps, and construction relied on an experimental alloy. With a capacity for one person, it carried a gross weight of 2,420 pounds and achieved a maximum speed of 466 miles per hour. McDonnell XF-85 Goblin With a solitary crew member, a length of 14 feet, a wingspan of 21 feet when wings spread, and a height of 8 feet, the McDonnell XF-85 Goblin was an American prototype fighter aircraft conceived during World War II by McDonnell Aircraft. Designed to deploy from the bomb bay of the Convair B-36 bomber as a parasite fighter, the XF-85 aimed to fulfill the crucial role of defending bombers from hostile interceptor aircraft, a necessity underscored during World War II. Only two prototypes were produced before the Air Force ended the project. The XF-85 was a small jet featuring a distinctive potato-shaped body and a bifurcated tail stabilizer design. These prototypes underwent testing and assessment in 1948, Although flight tests saw potential in the design, it fell short in performance compared to other jet fighters it would have encountered in battle and docking proved problematic. Consequently, the XF-85 was quickly discontinued and the prototypes were eventually turned into museum displays. Columba Krikri Measuring only 12 feet in length with a wingspan of 16 feet, the Krikri holds the title as the smallest manned twin-engine aircraft globally. Designed in the early 1970s by French aeronautical engineer Michael Colomban, its compact size was engineered to facilitate easy construction and piloting. The positioning of the two engines near each other, along the centerline, allows pilots only certified to operate single-engine planes to fly it. Even if one engine completely fails, a pilot removing their hands and feet from the controls would only cause a mild turn. The plane's structure consists of an aluminum sheet adhered to Clegacell foam, resulting in an empty weight of merely 172 pounds, which is less than most adults weigh. Its propulsion comes from single-cylinder piston engines, reaching a maximum speed of 140 miles per hour and a range of 290 miles. Stitz SA-2 A Sky Baby Made with the sole purpose of claiming the title of the world's smallest plane, the Stitz SA-2 A Sky Baby boasts a length of 9 feet, a wingspan of 7 feet, and a height of 5 feet, ensuring it can comfortably fit in a trailer, leaving room for additional cargo. Its diminutive size is such that the pilot is positioned with the engine near the lap, and the rudder pedals are situated under the oil sump toward the front of the cowling. Made by Ray Stitz and constructed with Robert H. Starr, 
the Sky Baby serves as a successor to the Stitz Junior Midget Racer. This aircraft is an enclosed, single-engine negative staggered cantilevered biplane featuring conventional landing gear. Its fuselage is crafted from welded steel tubing with aircraft fabric covering. With a requirement for a 170-pound pilot to maintain a proper center of gravity, the Sky Baby achieves a maximum speed of 220 miles per hour. Utilized for publicity flights to promote airshow acts, it was retired in October 1952 after accumulating 25 hours of flight time and was later donated to the National Air and Space Museum for display. Stitz DS-1 Baby Bird Crafted with the ambitious goal of surpassing Ray Stitz's record, the Stitz SA-2 A Sky Baby, a new plane was constructed. With dimensions of 11 feet in length, a wingspan of 6 feet, and a height of 5 feet, this aircraft once held the Guinness World Record for being the smallest airplane in the world. The title was later redefined as the world's smallest monoplane, to recognize Robert Starr's Bumblebee II as the smallest biplane globally. Inspired by years spent assisting his father, Ray Stitz, in building small aircraft, Don Stitz embarked on the endeavor to create the world's smallest airplane. This endeavor took him five years of devoted weekend work in his garage, with assistance from his wife and two children, costing him $5,000. However, his hard work bore fruit in 1984, when the Guinness Book of World Records recognized the Stitz DS-1 Baby Bird as the world's smallest monoplane and the smallest airplane by takeoff weight. With an empty weight of 252 pounds and a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour, the Stitz DS-1 Baby Bird solidified its place in aviation history. Star Bumblebee 2, measuring a length of 8 feet, a wingspan of 5 feet, and a height of 3 feet, the Star Bumblebee 2 claims the distinguished title of the world's smallest airplane ever made, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The first Bumblebee lost its title of the world's smallest plane to the Stitz DS-1 Baby Bird in 1984. This spurred Robert Starr to return to the drafting table and revisit his designs with one objective in mind, to create a smaller airplane. By 1988, the Star Bumblebee II took flight at Marana Airport, just outside Tucson, Arizona, securing the world record for the smallest manned aircraft. However, this remarkable feat came with its challenges. The small size of the aircraft made controls exceedingly difficult, and during its third test flight, it tragically crashed, resulting in injuries to the inventor, and the crash led to the end of creating the smallest airplanes.